Wow, what did we just see? <laughs> Welcome back to more Let's Play Smackdown v Raw 2007. In the last episode, where do I begin? <laughs> so, like, Triple H took control of the WWE. Um, he started putting his guys in better positions, like Ric Flair and the like, and just a lot of foreshadowing for the future of WWE happened. Also, we teamed up with Edge and, like, high-fived him. Like, that shit was just crazy. Um, but in this episode, maybe shit will get crazier. Uh, what? Oh, this is the, this must be the match. Uh, of course, Carlito would be the guy to take the fall in that. He's like, he was like 2006 Dolph Ziggler, I guess. Spear, 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 and another spear. Are they gonna play his music? Play his music, damn it. Oh, let me guess, Triple H is gonna be like, actually, you suck. Oh, there it is, yep. Well, I wish I could have seen it too, JR. <laughs> yeah, that that totally makes sense. Seriously, I'm sure you really impressed all these people out here tonight. But you but when didn't you're in impress a position me. Like mine, part of the job description is to be decisive and make tough decisions. Yeah, that's what Although being I decisive means, dipshit. Out here tonight, I also have to live up to my responsibilities as interim GM, and that means I can't oh. just flip flop on a decision I made a few short weeks ago. Wait, now so he's I'm saying he's interim GM. I thought he was the general manager. Contender material, and you're not gonna get a title shot at back. Oh, what a load of fight him! Fight him! Go fight him! Oh Go fight gosh. him! Beat his ass! Triple H looks scared. A knuckle sandwich. Wait, so are they turning Edge face? Are they turning Edge face here? Cause like legit, that's like that's that's what it looks like. Oh, right, well, let me guess. Edge is suspended, and he's being unprofessional. Oh! You'd be doing shit that's gonna get you to the mall. I go get that pickle. I make a fucking watch. I be pulling out now. Just, 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 hey, everybody. This is me doing a backflip. <laughs> oh, I might have hurt myself there. Um, just, 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 yeah. Edge was suspended. What? What the fuck? I should have just kept this in the last episode with how much foreshadowing this was. He's been indefinitely suspended for threatening the interim general manager. The incident immediately took place. What the holy fuck? Edge attacked a person in authority in the company. What the hell? Wait, he said such as not beating the hell of a worthless, worthless maggot like Edge? What is he, fucking Sergeant Slaughter now? What the fuck is this game? I am suddenly so invested in this. Like, I just went from thinking that, oh yeah, 06 might actually be the better game, to 07 being like, nah man. This game might not be as good, but like, it's fucking weird. I don't know, I'm still on the fence about which one's better, but I'm still leaning towards 06. But like, this one is just, this, it's just wild, and I'm sure only this year is the time where it would be wild, so I'm just really glad I'm playing it right now. Anyways, um, let's, let's see what, we have to fight Ric Flair, right? Let's go do that. Yep, there it is. Alright, there's DQ, so no Ric Flair shenanigans here. He's not gonna be, grab me by the balls, by the balls, by the, by the, by the great, great brooch, damn it. Ah, yes. The guy that literally just... Just, just milking his death by the penny at this point. This man, over a year, was like, I'm having my last match there. And it's still not even his last goddamn match. I don't know, Ric Flair has kind of just turned me away from being a fan of his over time. Crazy, because I was originally at his quote-unquote last match. And guess what, guys? That's 14 years ago now. I don't know, Ric Flair just... Over time, I've just been like, yeah, I don't really want to be a fan of Ric Flair. Because, like, 
Like, you know, the good times in wrestling were good, but like... Eh. Like, I don't care that he's a six-time world champion, 16-time world champion. I just don't. Dude's always been a creep, and it's kind of stupid that no one's really cared, like, about it. Like, really, they're like, oh, that's just... That's just Rick! I hurt dirt for dirt! It's nice to see that his robe is falling apart just like edges. Oh, and the music just stops. Uh, okay. You know, I don't know how often that Ric Flair and John Cena faced each other. I don't think it was that many. T it couldn't have been that many times. Probably it's only like once. I would I would wager it's probably once. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron maybe before in like a tag team match, but like Paul, this low key might be a dream I'm match. I know what I said about Ric Flair wasn't very savory, but like you know, at a certain point, some people would consider this a dream match. I mean, Ric Flair's last match was pretty good, so he was capable of having good matches. Although it was with Shawn Michaels, so you know. Also, around this time was when Ric Flair took that superplex off of the ladder at the middle of WrestleMania, and it, you know he shook it off. I mean, he he was like, "Oh my leg!" And I fucking oh, I actually hit him. He's like, "Oh my leg!" Oh, and so is John Cena. He's also a 16-time world champion. So that's kind of that's kind of an interesting meeting thing here going on. See if we're about to beat him like right now. Actually, it's not. All right, hey, can I punch you again? Oh, but he's gonna be too close to the ropes unless I like push him. And there it is. F you, Ric Flair. You son of a gosh darn dang old gosh dang idiot, you bitch. All right, uh, how about I pin you? If I win right now, that would be like I literally squashed Ric Flair. Oh, he kicked out. He kicked out of an FU. Oh my god, Ric Flair. I guess I could conceivably think that Ric Flair would, would kick out of that. But whatever. This is going to take one more. And it's, it's pretty soon, I guess. Let's have the classic as Jerry the King Lawler. I've been a five knuckle shuckle. Ah, 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 maybe next week, ah, you won't be here. Ah, five knuckle shuckle. Ah, this was a five knuckle shuckle. Ah. Dang it, King. We um, uh, shut the hell up. Stone Cold uh, Barbecue. And we're like, oh, oh, he's hurt. You're hurting me. Ric Flair. John Cena's hurting Ric Flair. By God. By God. He's twisting. He's doing a figure four. Ric Flair. By God. By God. Stone Cold. Yeah, it sure brings back some bad memories of Ric Flair uh, applying those moves to other people. All right, this is the one I wanted. Oh no, I got just this one's just square. Yep, what a hold. Let me just hold your arms behind your back. Hold your arms behind your back. Oh, of course. Hey, ref. Uh, maybe you wanna, you wanna, you wanna do something about that, ref? Maybe. Oh, and he's gonna do this. Oh, and I'm, I'm just gonna spin. Also, the Cena's have rainbow on his, his lip of his shoe. That just doesn't look like it matches. I'm gonna miss out on it. Are you kidding me? Oh god, I hope this doesn't become like that Undertaker thing in the last one. And again, I'm saying that they're all of a sudden, all of these wrestlers at the fucking halfway point of these matches, all of a sudden, they just oh, I'm just I'm just great at reversing and doing a lot now. Now Rick wants to have a five star match. He's like, no, I can't just lose to Cena that easily. But I'm just gonna be slow and methodical as hell about it, like a a, jo a joke off even, and or an armpit. All right, can I can I? Oh, he's like in the red. So if I jump on his ass, hey yo. If I get him here, oh fuck! Of course he would. Of fucking course he would. What is he doing? What is he? Why is he holding himself like that? Hey, no, you don't gotta love Ric Flair, Jerry Lawler, but of course you would. All right. Oh my god. He would. What? Excuse me. Jer Jim Ross just said that if Ric Flair was not a WWE superstar, he would make a great lawyer or a politician. What the fuck? How do you even say that? 
How could you actually even say such a thing? Like, just realistically say, like, thinking about it. How could you say such a thing? In what sense has Ric Flair ever proven to be, like, someone who could lead a nation, a state, a country, any fucking thing? How does, in what sense has Ric Flair proven that to you, Jim Ross? What the fuck? Maybe in fucking bumfuck Oklahoma, you, you motherfucker. Oh, you know what? Ric Flair could do that. I'm sure he could still do that. I wonder if this was the first game where they put the woo in after all those slaps. It's possible. I'm glad that that's not really as much of a thing if I've noticed. Alright, can I, can I, although I will be going to an event very soon. I'll, maybe I'll talk about it in a video. Yep, with an arm drag, we beat Ric Flair. I guess he's the greatest, right? Is this really how Cena is supposed to celebrate? Like, that's like his hand gesture at the time. Was this really how he was celebrating? This couldn't be something that so John Cena actually did. That's not anything that Cena would actually do. He definitely did not do the mocap for this game. 100%. I could tell from the entrance, but like, look, look at him. He's beating his titty. Wait, Cena doesn't wave his arms back like, like he's breaking his spine every time he puts his hands up. This game is fucking weird. Alright, that's all right, That's straight up the thing he did in the last game. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 let me guess. This is gonna be him? Oh, but he's not an active competitor. Oh, is he gonna be Shawn Michaels? <laughs> I'm actually very eager to see who this actually will be. I'm also very good at saying things with my mouth without actually moving my mouth in the same way. Say it. Say yourself. And, oh, and that gives it a point already. That get, and then the crowd pops at that. And after much soul searching and reflection, I found just three letters. HBK or trip or HHH. Yep. H. Of course. What? You mean the obvious thing he was gonna do? I'm gonna pull double duty this Sunday. Duty. Let me guess. He's gonna beat us for the title again. The number one contender for the WWE title. Wow. What a what a good idea. I bet he probably wasn't even supposed to be the general manager. Triple H defends decision. Oh good, he had to talk to the press. Something else that he's really good at, am I right? Everyone's saying that I abused my power to make this match. But nothing could be further from the truth. I'm doing what's best for business. I'm making the best WWE title match possible. I am the best qualified contender, and I'm gonna eat my own balls. Shove that guy from the super, star, super squad, whatever his fucking name, up my ass again. Are those guys even in this game? Alright, well, we're finally here. And Backlash! That's right. Backlash! And we're facing Triple H. Again. For the title. Again. And I have a funny feeling that no matter what we do, we're gonna lose. But let's just play to win anyway. Alright, I just want Triple H was not getting booed around this time. At this point, Triple H was getting cheered no matter what bullshit he was playing. Triple H is a heel. And it's probably, you know, after it, but like, after this, like, backlash, he was pretty much just, just like, literally just like, you know, his baby face. One of them at least was like Cena in the company. So. You know, you know, him and D the DX run happened, and is the, I don't think DX is at all in this game, but the entrance, I'm not even sure if it's in there. We're gonna have to look at that late, 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 late later. And it's, it's funny that Trip really got his trust from the defense when, um, like, was this, was, were, we, were we already going in the Stephanie Triple H thing? Like, direction back then? Also, I don't even remember what we got to see Backlash last time when we played. But I love the Backlash, like the, the hooks and shit. I always love that. I think it looks great. I believe that up until ECW One Night Stand, 
that's like the most current arena that we have in this game. So, you know, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much that. So this is actually the backlash where Cena faced Triple H and Edge. Also, it's where Shawn Michaels and God teamed up to face Vince McMahon and Shane. And Vince McMahon beat God. I'd imagine that's that's not going to be the case for much longer, though. Can you imagine preparing for a WWE title match when you don't even know who your opponent's going to be? I'm pretty sure that's happened. I'm pretty sure that's happened pretty recently, too. It's okay, John Cena, he's just gonna come out here, and you know what, I can't even say, like, oh, he's just gonna come out here and wave his title around like he usually does, like, just cause making fun of, like, the animation and stuff, but legitimately, that's, 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 that is what he did. He didn't do it in this weird manner, like, 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 just... Alright, that, that is something Cena did, okay, I will say that. That's the thing that he did when he was, set, like, when he was at Raw. You know what? This entrance is his entrance when he was, a, like, his first night on Raw, I bet, like, when he was drafted, but also, that's 2005, guys. Yeah, 2005, guys. <laughs> My god, think of all the fries and the peanuts. I got the whole block. Alrighty. Well, it's the second time we face Triple H, and I'm so glad that apparently, so apparently in SmackDown, not SmackDown, WrestleMania 20, 23, well, was supposed to be seen at facing Triple H again in a rematch for for the title. But Triple H got injured in New Year's Revolution that year, so Shawn Michaels ended up facing John Cena for the title in an amazing, absolutely amazing, incredible match. Um, at least in my opinion, I really loved it. Um, there was also a guy that streaked at the beginning of it that was pretty funny. Um, I remember watching that with like a lot of people. Um, but that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is that Triple H was going to beat C get his win back the year after, which would have been absolutely dumb. And I'm glad that Shawn Michaels actually put Cena over because that was like, I don't know, Cena's run at that time with the title was one of his best runs. He had those matches with Umaga at the beginning of the year. The first wrestling event I ever attended was a house show at in New Jersey. It was in East Rutherford, and it was, um, I believe it was the Izod Center before it was called that. And Umaga faced Cena for the first time ever, and that was like awesome to see. So the fact that, and then he did had those matches with Umaga that were great. He had um, the match with HBK. He had the matches with Great Kali, which were actually really great. Uh, and of course, he, the Ric Flair problem strikes with this. I'm not gonna complain to the dang old ref. Might knock him out there with here. With here. Triple H is getting his candy ass whooped. This is like I hope this is more of a squash than the Ric Flair thing, honestly. Because because I mean it's it's more, I mean granted Ric Flair is. Well, I guess more real life a bad person with, with attributable evidence. But Triple H in this game is at least a more of a bad person. Wow, he's getting the shit stomped out of him. Hey buddy, you wanna you wanna get up? Oh my god, really? Also, JR was about to say we could fool all the fans some of the time and what? Also, we had a Hell in a Cell match with this dude. Now we're just having a regular match. This is the first time I'm pointing it out. Like, what the fuck? Like, we're doing this whole feud backwards. Anyways, uh, we won. Absolutely annihilated. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you must be pissed off at me, but, but, but what, do, what can you do? You weren't the right person to challenge for me. I guess you weren't championship material. I mean, of course I did it. Triple H schemed. I was injured at Hell in a Cell. But I beat him there after I got thrown off the damn thing. So, like, I beat him there. So, what the fuck? What's the surprise? It's just a one-on-one -on -one match. 
This is a rematch, bitch. This is the rematch. We just beat him for the title. Oh, what? They didn't even finish the, the speaking. They literally cut away. They didn't finish talking. Oh, do we get the backlash trophy? Oh, I did get <laughs> We got the backlash trophy. I didn't know that that was actually a thing. So we have to unlock all the arenas, I guess? All right, whatever. Let's, let's do that then. All right, well, again, we're the WWE champion, and we beat Triple H. Again. Oh, just like the Elite Four. But, uh... I guess that'll wrap it up for this edition of SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you guys then. Deuce and Domino are not in this game. I don't think, actually. They would be. Genuinely, they would be if it was around this time. I don't know, guys. See ya. Why is it so hard to get him on a fucking table? Yes, yes, yes! Very good, very good. Get up, bitch. Get up, Triple H. It's time. You wanna play the game? What? Why did it? Yeah! That's how you fucking play the game, bitch! Yeah! Pedigree through the table, you scum diddly grunt.